Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. In our previous section, we discussed commutative property for whole numbers. Whole numbers are commutative for addition and multiplication, but not commutative for subtraction and division. Today, we are going to discuss the commutative property for integers. Consider two integers, minus 8 and 12. We will start with addition. Adding minus 8 and 12, we get minus 8 plus 12 is equal to 4. And 12 plus minus 8 is equal to 4. We can see the sum is the same irrespective of the order. Changing the order of numbers does not affect the result. That is, minus 8 plus 12 equals 12 plus minus 8 equal to 4. For any two integers, a and b, a plus b equals b plus a. So, addition is commutative for integers. Now, let's look at subtraction of integers. Subtracting 12 from minus 8, we get minus 20. And subtracting minus 8 from 12, we get 20. That is, minus 8 minus 12 is not equal to 12 minus minus 8. Therefore, subtraction is not commutative for integers. Next, look at multiplication of numbers. On multiplying minus 8 and 12, we get minus 96. And 12 multiplied by minus 8 is also equal to minus 96. Here, changing the order of numbers does not affect the result. That is, minus 8 multiplied by 12 equals 12 multiplied by minus 8 equal to minus 96. So, for any two integers, a and b, a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a. Therefore, multiplication is commutative for integers. Lastly, let's look at division of integers. On dividing, minus 8 by 12, we get minus 2 by 3. And 12 by minus 8 equals minus 3 by 2. That is, minus 8 divided by 12 is not equal to 12 divided by minus 8. Therefore, division is not commutative for integers. Let's recall what we discussed today. For any two integers, a and b, a plus b equals b plus a. And a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a. And a minus b is not equal to b minus a and a divided by b is not equal to b divided by a. Hence, we can say that, for integers, addition and multiplication are commutative, while subtraction and division are not commutative. Now, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. If a equals minus 36 and b equals 50, check whether it is commutative for addition and multiplication. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.